Oh, what? your feet smell. It's not my feet, it's these pants. They sat in the wash overnight and they smell funny. Which I realized when I put them on, I was like, oh, these need to be washed, but we can make it through 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'm sorry, no. are they too stinky for you? No, they're well, it might affect the taste. <laughs> So, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Are you sure? No, it it's fine. You? I'll just suffer. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to what are we? What are we doing? Trying celebrity alcohol. Oh, this is my friend Zoe. Some of you may recognize Zoe. Zoe, where did you come from? Salvage Barbecue, Portland, Maine. Oh, that's where I used to work. A million years ago. Back in the day. Back in the day. So it was my boss. She said, "You do this, girl." So today we will be trying. Celebrity alcohols of various different things. We have our glasses, which we'll have to rinse out in between. What do these glasses say? They're not for sale. My manager got them for me. They say, <laughs> I have to do this show. A tour that maybe you saw. And if you didn't, tickets aren't on sale anymore. This is a lovely Maison number nine. Brought to you by... Hi. Post Malone. It's at um, well, approximately room temperature, which is not how you want to drink rosé. So the rule for this, we're tasting celebrity alcohol. So we have 10 of them. We're not going to be just glugging everything, OK? Oh, do, 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 at home, you OK? I'm not. Post Malone made a rosé. Smells like rosé. Smells like rosé. And it tastes like Bud Light. <laughs> Do you like the rosé? Like it's fine, but we're also not it's drinking warm. it. Yeah, we're not drinking it at the required or the ideal temperature. Ideal temperature. Well, don't don't have more. We have ten bottles. Of drink. Post Malone, we're putting you. Okay. Oh, are we ranking? We're ranking. So Do we we're have a piece of paper and a pen so that we can take notes. <sighs> Okay, I have made the tier list. We've got S through F and vodka, which is my least favorite alcohol. What I've just realized doing it like this is that we won't be able to move them around. I have a plan. Oh, initial round and then at the end? Final and hmm. hmm. I am going to rank Post Malone's Rosé a C tier, which is average. It's fine. The beautiful thing is that we can cork this bad boy. And put it. Oh, we should also judge. I mean, we should take into consideration aesthetics? the packaging, the aesthetics. I do like this bottle. This is going to be a 40 hour video if we, <laughs> we've got to speed it up. It's a nice bottle. It's a nice logo. I like the glass topper. We are going to get this out of the way, which is 19 Hi. Crimes, the Cali Red by Snoop. So we'll see. Ah. How long has that been open? Ah, uh, six, eight months. No, uh, like a couple weeks. Oh, like a week, a Caesar. week and a half. Oh, not a no. couple, not a couple weeks. Three no. to five days for red wine. Oh, well. <laughs> so we can't give this an accurate rating. Oh, but we should rate the vinegar that it tastes like now. Hey, hold me your glass. You, Why does it look so watery? You give me so much more than you. Oh, I'll give myself more. Yeah, if I'm gonna suffer, you're gonna suffer. Listen, don't talk about Snoop like that. I think I'm mostly. Talk about we don't know shit about wine. Hey. We didn't really taste it or smell oh, it. We just I, I tasted it. I'm putting this at a D, a lower D, and post was a higher C. I put post at an A. a. I'm gonna put a uh, Snoop. Sorry, Snoop, you're Sorry. going in vodka. Go you're going in vodka. Okay, your turn to pick. <laughs> That's Matthew McConaughey. Ah, Merchant McKinner. <laughs> Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Mm. This is my shit. I mean, I have not tried this, but I drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is my shit. <laughs> I have never tried it. Look at, is that his signature? Apparently. That's stupid. It's an oak and Texas mesquite charcoal refined. Long Branch Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I think the packaging is fine. They could have gone a bit more, I think. You just realized I sniffed because he was sniffing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth. Like the criminal. <laughs> it actually is smooth. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. As a human who drinks bourbon, I am enjoying okay. it. Well, you have input that I don't because I. It, the which only time is I'm... that I'm enjoying it. That's yeah. as far oh, as we okay. go. But it's it's smooth and it tastes like bourbon. 
Well, because you drink more bourbon it. than I do, because the only time I really drink bourbon is if I'm having an old fashioned. Yeah. But I don't really drink it straight. I don't really drink anything straight. I drink it gay. <laughs> yeah, it's very smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's smooth. See, this one's tough because it's like, am I rating it on, am I rating it on how much I liked it or if I think that it's good for what it is. Good for what it is. It's gonna be a 50-50 split of both, both of those things, which I guess just means that nobody should take these ratings seriously at all. <laughs> Stop kicking me. We're gonna be putting that at a low C. Cause it was fine, but I don't really like to drink bourbon straight, so. An A for Matthew. I'm going to go with uh, Gonna, uh, do you want me to make the okay. decisions? No, we're going with Aviation Gin, which is brought to you by Ryan Reynolds. Aviators. <laughs> this is usually the gin that I buy when I buy gin. I like the bottle, it's ribbed, which is kind of nice. And I like Ryan Reynolds. But the last time Unless I don't, let me know. <laughs> oh. oh. It smells like gin. Sure does smell like gin. <laughs> smell uh. But I did. Good job, Brian. I like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually. That's actually good job, easy. Brian. That's good. Yeah. I've never had that before. I would eight tier that. Yeah? Maybe yeah. I would eight tier that. I'm gonna put this at a high B. Here are the rankings. Great. Okay. This is Jay-Z's. How are you gonna say it? This. His brand owns a third of this, so really it's like kind of pretty diluted Jay Z. Not a lot of J in this one. Uh, All right, mostly Z. I do like the bottle and the cool cross thing. I think it's pretty cool. Sip, sip. We're running out of time. All right. Uh, uh, Amy comes in from the corner. Uh, uh, from the corner. Uh, corner. I mean, you can come and sit no, if you want. I don't. I don't. Are you gonna perch? Just, okay. Whatever feels right. Amy's to you. kind of in the video now. Ugh. Oh, okay. hi, Amy. Hello. Oh, do your people know why we hit the table? Because I feel like that's something that we should tell people. Different people do it for different well, reasons. Why do you though. Oh, well, so I've always done it. Cheers to the people you're with. Yeah. And then to the establishment you're drinking at. Yeah. Ethan's house. Yeah. My house. Ugh. But I've heard people <laughs> also do it. House. Because people have asked me, what are you choosing to at the other part? And I've said, because I've always said to the establishment, because yeah. I learned it from you, but they're like, oh, I'm cheersing to the people who aren't here. Oh, no, you're supposed to pour it on the floor for them so they can drink it from the ground. I'm just gonna pour it right at your Oh, <laughs> no, I, that, not like a dead people way, but just like to the to the friends who are with. And, and the friends who are without. Who, who uh, are getting groceries. <laughs> I don't know, let's drink this up. We're recording Let's Plays instead of being here. Yeah. That's pretty smooth. I don't really want to finish it. No, neither do I. <laughs> I'm putting Jay Z's Dussy. <laughs> I'm putting him his Dussy at a B. The bottle is great. I really like the Dussy. I think of the things here, it's one of the one of the best. You want me to choose for you? Because last let's, time you took a long no, time. Oh, let's get this over with. We're I doing feel, vodka. Feel... This is Crystal Head Vodka for the creative spirit. Use your head. Drink responsibly. I get it. Because I'll probably save this bottle once this is all done. Because it's pretty cool. Well, oh, I think it's. I think I just saw it. I think it's Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Oh, Dan Aykroyd. All right, this is going to go in vodka. <laughs> because it's vodka. Put it in vodka. Why don't we have water? I don't know. Sorry, Dan. It's not necessarily you. Uh, I just hate vodka. These are our current standings. What's this? White rum. White Dumb. rum. Great. Selva Ray White Rum is brought to you by Bruno Mars. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> Was that genuine? <laughs> This smells like cleaner, <laughs> mm, which I mean, alcohol. that's kind of a lot of alcohol, but especially Ooh. right now, it smells very clean. My nose holes feel sanitized. Oh, I like that one too. Not bad. It's got a nice like, um, that's okay. sort of. Oh, it's vanilla-y. 
That's vanilla it. E. That's it. It's got a nice vanilla E aftertaste. It's, it's like nice. the white rum of uh, Casamigos. That I really liked. I think. That was pretty good. That I'm going to put Bruno for me is right. going into A tier. That was pretty good. Did we all do A tier for Bruno? We brew? did. For Bruno? Yeah, but can I edit? I'm gonna. Well, well, we'll do that for the we'll, final. For the final round, yeah. Okay, so for the things that we have left, we are actually down to our final two. We have Bob Dylan's. Uh, whatever this is, bourbon. And we have, you said this is Kendall? Jenner's tequila. And all I know about it is that when this brand first launched, they submitted it to a bunch of like tequila competitions and it like swept. It did really good and no one knew who was producing it. Ah. And then it was like, surprise, it's Kendall Jenner. And everyone was like, oh, oh no. I really take like that what I said before. We're gonna end on it because it's controversial. Okay. So that means we're doing Bob Dylan's bourbon, which I think is going to be fine. <laughs> it, uh, Cheers, uh, uh, I got this for you. I don't like it. I don't really like it either. Not compared to the other bourbon. Yeah, the other no. bourbon, Matthew McConaughey's yeah. bourbon was a lot better. It was a lot I'm more smooth. Like, it has a funny taste. It has this oaky afterbirth. Ooh, <laughs> no, it's a it's a pre-birth. It, it attacks you to- Bob! Bob, you Bob. fucked up! Why? Shame on you, Bob! Shit! <laughs> don't sue me, please. Is there a spot below vodka? You can make one. There's an extra space <laughs> if you want to just Bob. put It's Bob. just Bob spot. All right. So, everyone watch out and watch out your glasses. This is the magic of handcrafted you mean I should wash 818. Out? We work closely with family-owned farms in Jalisco, Mexico. I doubt it. The smoothest, most natural and best tasting tequila possible. Kendall is so, not at the family. Uh, the reason that I'm reading this is because at the bottom of this, it's all about sustainability. Find out how we incorporate sustainability into 818 Blah, 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 blah. The area code 818 is home to me, but the earth is home to all of us. From the agaves we grow to the production of the bottle, sustainability and transparency of our supply chain was our core focus. We feel a great sense of responsibility and pride to have a positive impact on individuals, communities, and the environment. What are you doing? <laughs> they were, the dogs were being really cute. Ooh, it yeah, you shouldn't breathe tequila. Smells like tequila. I'm you shouldn't. We're going to drink Kylie Jenner's tequila now. Not Kylie, Kendall. Kendall. Jesus Christ. Kendall. They're very different. They're very different. Okay, I... it's Kendall Jenner. Say that with peace and love. <laughs> Have a oh, uh. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. How many monies is it? Because I feel like that, I want to know. I have no idea. I know that uh, we don't I guess know, we could but I feel like that up. has a bearing. So it's a more expensive bottle. But of... is it like in the realm of Casamigos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it tastes... Uh, it's actually, it's cheaper, cheaper than Casamigos. Cheaker. That's it's $47. It I starts at $47. What's Casamigos? Like 60 I don't like Casamigos. Putting her at a B. Okay. We can finish the story no, once the... No, this is a great story. <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of film. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Amy, where did you put? I see? <laughs> and he's gone. We have to go through really quick and do our final rankings. So now I'm going to redo mine in the sphere of these alcohols. All right. I did it. Here's them. Oh Here's no, it. don't. You can't move it. I'm getting get it so they can get a zoom. So now we have the final rankings and in the bottom row. In the, in the sorry Bob. Sorry Bob row, category. which I didn't put anything there. You have both Bob and Snoops. I'm Why? sorry. In vodka. Wow. I moved Bob up to vodka. Well, in the ranks of this world, you know. Well, yes. So Bob actually ranks in my mind below Dan. Dan is an F, which is the vodka, which I hate vodka. I thought that the Bob's bourbon was really bad. Jay-Z, <laughs> in D tier, cognac for Zoe. Snoop, 
I had an E, I uh, had an C tier. That's generous of you. Well, because it's red wine. It's bad red wine. Like it's bad red wine, but compared to everything else here, it wasn't the worst thing that we drank. I don't think that's true. I well, think and that that's was why the you... worst thing we drank. Great. Blah. And that's why you put him down here. I put him here I because think I your didn't... opinions are stupid. Well, great. I put him in C tier because it's red wine. Like I'll drink it, but it, it you know, it's whatever. <laughs> In B tier, we have JC's Cognac for me. You put Post Malone in B? Yeah. The rose? Yeah. Oh. I like, well, we didn't drink it cold. And I was like, it, mostly I adjusted it down because the other things were really nice. Like, whatever that was, I really liked it. Don't remember. Ryan but it, Reynolds Aviation Gin. Oh, yeah, that was delicious. Yeah. And so I adjusted because I liked that rose, but. Mm -hmm. Less than the other things. And then you also put Matthew McConaughey's Mark bourbon McConaughey. there. In A tier. We both put Bruno in A tier. That was really good. Uh, I put Ryan in A tier and Matthew McConaughey in A tier and Kendall, Kendall Jenner. Oh, you didn't put Kendall Jenner. Mm. B tier? Yeah. Okay. And in S tier, we have Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. And Post Malone. Post Malone. All right, let's finish out this video. Well, everyone, we've ranked celebrity alcohols. Me and Zoe and a little bit of Amy. Good job, Amy. Everybody give a round of applause. Come on, louder. If there's other celebrity alcohols that are out there in the world that you want me to try, let me know in the comments below. Drink <laughs> responsibly? And tell Zoe how great she is. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She's the best. Yeah, Please Zoe, don't. do you have any do you have any plugs? Give her your preach. Uh nope. What is that my crazy proof?